So Russell Wilson, who is with Sierra, made a statement that his biggest fear is losing her. Now this has caused an argument on two fronts. On one side, people are saying that this fear could cause him to control her and be very mean and upsetting towards her. And another side says that this fear can cause him to make sure that he continues to adjust to do things that makes the relationship work, that brings her her happiness, that fits on her love language. This also created a third element, a third conversation. And in that third conversation, it was about how some men are saying that Russell Wilson upgraded Sierra, while others are saying that some women are saying, hey, ain't no man upgraded her. So we're going to talk about those things for just a few minutes. But thank you for joining me. I'm Coach Renz. Thank, welcome to the Alchemical Mindset. And this is a lot of complexity to discuss in what I'm going to say is going to be 15, 20 minutes. But you guys know how I can go on and on. So we're going to try to make this brief. But I want to thank everybody who subscribes to the channel. Please put your comments down in the bottom. And let's go ahead and uh, become members and continue to grow the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. So Russell Wilson is with Sierra. I am not a person who really gets into uh, celebrity lifestyles. I, I don't really know a lot about these people. I don't focus on those kinds of people. But I have friends who do. And they bring about conversations, discussions we have concerning these people and how they live their lives. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is, and it's the most important, that's why I want to get it in the first part for those people who only stay about five, six minutes. That is the fact that in a situation of just a statement that Russell Wilson made concerning uh, his biggest fear is losing Sierra. The thing about that is this. When people feel fear of losing something, they either respond one of two ways. One of two ways. One way that they respond is in the negative and the other is in the positive. And you see, fear can do that for you. It could either be something that moves you negatively or it can move you positively. It's, you know, face everything and respond or forget everything and run. It's one of those two things. Now, when, when you are challenged with something like, I don't want to lose this person, I, I'm fearful of losing this person, Oftentimes, the average person is going to respect, respond negatively, which means that they are going to try to control the narrative of that person. They're going to uh, be physically abusive or financially um, controlling or abusive, or they're going to try to isolate them from any outside influences that could possibly lead them away which is another form of abuse. Well, it's, it's, it's one of the catalysts to an abuse, one of the uh, character traits of an abuser. Um, they, be, they, they go through the cycle of abuse. If you saw that video that I spoke of, uh, I did before on the live, where you know there is this, this honeymoon phase and then there's a minimize, well, there's a, there's an apology, there's the honeymoon phase, the minimizing of the actual abuse, and then the, 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 the intensification of everything, I don't know if that's a real word, but intensifying everything, and then the explosion. And then after the explosion, we go back to the apology, into the honeymoon, into the minimizing, and back around to the intensity intensity intensification and then the explosion again is the cycle of abuse oftentimes this is what we find we find people doing that and some people do it on a grand scale some people do it on a small scale but at the end of the day it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how big it is I could put a little bit of strychnine in your um, actually no in one of my favorite series that I love to watch annually is Spartacus and in the second second season um, oh God, I forgot his name. Oh my gosh! But anyway, the um, the, the 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 girl, the lady was Zena, the warrior princess. I can't remember her name. She was slowly poisoning um, her father-in-law, slowly, just enough to make him leave and go to Cecilia, just to get him out of the way. But then, when he came back and he gave his ultimatum, she gave him a whole bunch of poison to kill him. So, if you do a little bit of abuse or a whole lot of abuse, it's still abuse. If you control someone financially just a little bit or a whole lot, it's still financial abuse. It's still controlling. If you, so, it doesn't really matter. 
which way you go. Now, that's that. Or, and that's one thing that some people are saying that does this mean he's going to live in fear and be controlling? But if you are, then you're going in the negative path. You eventually are going to lose that person. Uh, I had a customer of mine came in and, you know, we've, we've had conversations over the last like five, six months. And, um, it comes after she saw my, she saw my video on cycle of abuse and she came in and she told me how she's been in this, uh, you know, this, this marriage where she's been physically abused, meant financially abused, mentally abused by her husband. And she was asking me about what's the process of getting out. Like if you saw my video, I, I just posted or before this one, I talked about how healing happens the moment you start deciding that your value is higher than the abuse that you're accepting. And that's when your healing began. And the fact that she came in and, and we don't know each, we just know each other in the store. That's it, just in the store, there's, no, there's nothing else. Uh, the fact that she is saying that she was, she felt comfortable and open to say that, hey, this is the uh, situation I've been going through. I saw your video, I connected with it, and you know, how do I, what do I do next? You know, how difficult is it to file? What do I need to do to file? How, what's the best process? Uh, all these sorts of things, and and we talked about that for a while. Your abuse or your control eventually, hope more than likely, is going to lead to the person leaving anyway. The other thing is you recognize, and this is the hardest one for people to do, you recognize what you need to do to make the relationship better. You start to learn what that person's love languages are. You see, like if a person's love language is um, gifts, then you start to give more gifts. Even if it's not your love language, even if it's on the bottom of yours, as you guys have seen a lot of my videos, uh, giving of gifts is at the bottom for me. I, I don't, giving me a gift, yeah, it's nice, but it doesn't have that I love you thing, you know. Um, I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate it. I'm thankful for it because I understand that that's how that person loves and, and, and it makes sense for them. But for me, it doesn't have that thing to it. So um, there, there's that point where you're going to feel, you're still going to feel a little bit of emptiness. So under he, if he's taking the stance, I'm going to understand her love language. Uh, like I'm just using me as an example where it's, 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 it's um, physical touch, you know, is one of my primary love languages. So if he, if that's hers and if he's doing that, if, if words of affirmation is a big, that's like third on my list, but if words of affirmation is a big love language, if acts of service, then, and he's doing, and when you look at people at that level, you think like, oh, what, what can he do to make her feel, you know, it can be the simplest of things, the simplest of things. She mentioned something that needs to be done or that she wants to do and he does it for her without her asking. Or he just knows this is how she likes to keep something organized or this is how she likes her um, her car to be taken care of. For, oh, for instance, for me, like um, when I'm at my best, uh, you, you, my, my, my lady, my wife will never have to put, she will rarely, let me not say never because that's finite, will rarely have to put gas in her car, rarely have to get it clean. That's when I'm like, I'm loving my wife. If I'm not, trust me, if that's not happening, then it, I'm, I'm not in love. I'm not loving you um, because I'm demonstrating that through my actions. But that's also how you demonstrate the love through your actions is that you go ahead and you handle these things. And I know sometimes you can be incredibly, I've gotten so busy sometimes that I forget those things so you can forget uh, and with Valentine's Day coming up oftentimes we throw a lot into this weekend but this weekend is not gonna make it it's not gonna be the thing that gets us there so you have to if, if it's causing him to recognize her love language you know um, words of affirmation physical touch acts of service um, gifts if, if those things are her love languages I, and I keep forgetting the fifth one I don't know why, but he's then, if he's doing that, recognizing her love language and he's actively, you know, handling her top two, he's doing those things. When you actively handle your partner's top two, then, and, and, and that I don't want to lose her. I don't want to lose him. It's causing you to do that. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. And we all should have that. We all should recognize that, Hey, you know what? What makes, what I need to do a love check-in, you know, every Sunday, every Monday, whatever day you choose. How's your love tank? Is it full? Is it half full? Is it three quarters full? Is it three quarters empty? Is it on E? All right, it's on E. What? All right, so I may not, I must not understand how you receive love. So help, help me understand. How do you receive love? All right, 
let me put it on my calendar of when I'm going to do things or say things or uh, do whatever it takes. You know, if, if, if physical touch, like for a lot of men, you know, intimacy is, well, sex. I ain't going to say anything. Sex is a, big, is a big thing, physical touch. If he's not getting it, it's hard for him to love. It's hard for him to respond to you in love. Now, men, a lot of women, theirs, are going, their, theirs is going to be acts of service and, and, and gifts, acts of service, gifts, words of affirmation. Those three are generally within the top two of most women. And if you're not on the point of those three, you're, you're going to cause her to have that thing where she's not going to want to give you the physical touch. You, you see what I'm saying? So we have to make sure that we understand the balance of it, that you can't, it's, it's not a you go first and then I'll go. You just have to go, just, just go. You know, my cousin told me when I was 14 years old, if you do what pleases her, then she'll do what pleases you. Uh, she didn't have the wisdom, the additional wisdom back then to say, now if a woman doesn't do what pleases you when you're doing what pleases her, then she ain't no damn good for you basically is how that goes and it's the same thing it's the same thing so if your fear is causing you to you know make sure that you love her love him in the way that they receive love then you'll keep them and that's a good fear to have now the last thing that we're going to talk about in this one and i mentioned this a little bit in my video previous video about healing how killer mike his he was going to buy a new car but his lady and i don't know how true this is i just saw the meme and his lady was like no instead of buying that car I spent two hundred fifty thousand dollars and buy this 10 unit apartment building and he bought that and now it's worth two six hundred and fifty thousand and of course they've been receiving uh rent rental income the entire time so it's a great investment she upgraded his financial thinking I say that to move into the idea because because it, it's also deemed as sexist if I say that well, Russell people are saying Russell Wilson upgraded Sierra. And some people will take that as offense because they will say, well, she was dressing sexy. Now she's dressing a more mature sexy than she was when she was with Future and 50 Cent. She was, was a lot more skin showing. Um, so now she's still dressing sexy. She's still showing sexuality, but it's a more matured um, form of that sexuality, not as much skin and in, in your face um you know level of of sexiness that almost goes to the level of just skin lust and i understand that because and and, and i understand both sides of it on one hand does a person upgrade you do a person needs to be upgraded you may not need to be but a person does. Every person you're with is either gonna upgrade you or downgrade you in certain areas. It may not be your fullness because we don't know what areas Sierra has upgraded Russell Wilson. The fact that he is in such love with her that he says that his greatest fear is not death, it's not financial ruin, it's not injury, it's not loss of other family members, it's loss of her because remember, the, the spouse is the only person that pledges to be with you for the rest of your life. Your children will leave you. Your parents, you left them. Your 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 brothers and sisters, they have their own lives. You your spouse is the only person who is efforting to be with you for the rest of your life. So, if you don't realize that and you put the kids first, you put the church first, you put the synagogue first, you put the work first, you put money first, you put all these other things first and you ignore the love language of your spouse, then you're going to lose said spouse who is the only person who's trying to be with you for the rest of your life through thick and thin. But you, if you make it too thin, you fall through the ice and you freeze and you die. Simple as that. If Russell Wilson, if being with Russell Wilson and the love that they share caused her to upgrade her dress code to be not as gratuitous, then yes, he upgraded her. But we don't know where she upgraded him. If Killer Mike's wife convinced him to not waste money on a car that depreciates immediately and buy a 10 unit apartment that appreciates, then she financially upgraded him. Look at the people in your life or that you've been with. Did the, did the last relationship, where did it upgrade you? Where did it downgrade you? For some people, there are aspects of what people have said to you, done to you, the trauma they've caused you have downgraded you. If it's caused you to be violent, if it's caused you to be controlling, if it's causing you to not be as organized, if it's causing you to not be as loving, um, I can say this for myself. I've been in a relationship that has so 
many issues that it caused me to not allow myself to be as loving in the next relationship. It took me some time, I expressed this in the previous video, it took me some time and, and over and two years ago I recognized that, you know what, no, I gotta, I gotta break free of all that so that I can truly be loving above the level of love I've ever experienced or given, even though there is the fear of the pain that comes with that because remember, on the pendulum swing, on the law of polarity, however far to the right you go is as far to the left as you, went, you can go. So since I've been this far to the right, I went that far to the left in my depression, in my pain, in my anguish after um, me and my children's mom divorced that anybody else who came prior to two years ago, they couldn't get over here. I wouldn't allow them to, I wouldn't allow myself to get over here. I couldn't get over there. And I purposely was with people or well, subconsciously, I'm going to say, I was with people who had, didn't have a chance, really, with me. Other people, yes, but with me, couldn't get over there. And that was selfish. And that's why I apologize um, to all of them, personally. Because I I knew going in that we wouldn't, they, they couldn't get here. Right? Because if they can't get here, then I can never feel this over here. But I realized, after having an experience with someone who could have gotten here, who had the ability to get here, that I never gave them a chance to get here. And so I broke that off, right? But then six months later, I realized what I did. So I knew going forward with anybody else, the next person I was in a relationship with, I have to allow them and allow myself to get here to risk all of this over here. But I understand the law of polarization. As soon as you see a swing, swing it back. Also in the law of polarization, if you see that this person can take you here and they don't qualify to be here, then you let that go. You remove that out of your life. And you have to be ready to remove people out of your life. People who don't upgrade you for the most part, because not every one person is not going to upgrade every aspect of who you are. But if a person can't upgrade you in a positive format for the most part, then you have to let them go and remove them out of your life. So Russell Wilson, did he upgrade Sierra in that area? I'm going to say yes. Other areas, they may have upgraded each other. Hopefully, they're not downgrading each other in any way, form, any way, shape, or form. If someone is downgrading you, then you need to find it within yourself to upgrade yourself. And if they can't handle the upgrade, then maybe they don't deserve to be with you. And you deserve to be with someone who deserves to be with you. So y'all have a great day. And remember, you got to free yourself to be yourself. Why? Because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.